This week, the 14850 Dining Report is looking at some of the ways small businesses are trying to adapt to rising costs and tighter margins. In an effort to avoid raising prices, some bars and eateries are passing along credit card processing costs or offering cash discounts, adding automatic gratuities or server commissions, or adding service fees to the check. Costs really are going up across the board for bars and restaurants. That includes wages, as staff need more money to deal with rising rents and grocery costs. It includes gas and electric bills, eco-friendly takeout containers, and of course everything from fryer oil to eggs and bacon and wings costs more. Business owners are trying to avoid raising prices, where they're not raising them as much as costs are going up, so shrinking margins mean credit card fees take up more of what's left after covering the costs. Those fees, just a few percent of what the customer is paying, are a cost of doing business, but as more and more people pay with cards instead of cash, especially for small transactions, it becomes a huge cost. To deal with this, some eateries are printing their cash prices in the menu and charging a slightly higher price if you're paying with plastic. The idea is just to pass along the small but very real cost of the credit card transaction to customers choosing to use credit cards. As businesses make an effort to pay their staff a living wage, we're also seeing some spots add a service fee to the check. That's usually instead of a gratuity, though the customer is welcome to add an additional tip for great service. It could also be called a commission. Either way, the intent is to more directly cover employee wages in the check rather than expect the customer to make it up with a tip. Transparency is important. The last thing anyone wants is for everyone to be unhappy at the end of the process. It's up to us as customers to read the signs and read the menu, and it's up to staff to tell guests up front what to expect. For more, find 14850 Dining on Instagram, Spotify, and YouTube, and at 14850.com. With the 14850 Dining Report, I'm Mark H. Anbinder.